The question 5 is to divide polynomials by synthetic division. Since it's in the MCQ part, it doesn't matter which type of division you're using as long as you divide it. Now, even over here, there are shortcut methods. I'm sure by now you know what synthetic division. You have to take in the coefficients, write them in order, you know, make the method. See over here, this is the method. The 3 comes down, then you multiply 3 with 4, you write the term over here, that's 12, and add them up, 5, and then multiply it, and it goes on, and, uh, you know, you get the remainder and everything. But now, I will show, tell you the shortcut method in the calculator. Here, you need to have all the four options. First thing, just like the last video, how we did the multiplication shortcut, just like that, assume a value for v. There's only one variable over here, and only one variable will be there. So what I'll do is, I'll just consider this as division because it's to the power minus 1, it goes down, and v as 1.5. So over here, I'll just write v as x because it's only a single variable, right? I can write it as x, it'll be much easier. Minus 10 and divided by x minus 4. Now this power minus 1 means it's divided by. Now I will calculate x value at 1.5. And now whatever answer you get, write it out somewhere. It's 11 by 2 or 5.5. The same thing will be done over here. Write all the four options and check which will match with the question. That is over here, you have with the remainder, sorry, it's plus 5 plus the remainder 10. And it's again x minus 4. And over here, when I calculated at 1.5 itself, it's the same answer but as any other answer will not match with the given question whatever the value you get over there so this is how easily you can find it out so when you divide this by this this is the answer so the values of both these terms this answer and this given question must be equal because they are equal itself right you have solved them same thing over here you can do the same thing no changes, just put in over here and consider a value. I generally consider 1.5. Consider them as x itself and then directly calculate at 1.5. You'll get some answer and then look into the options and solve that as well. Over here is the quotient. All you need to do is put the same value, whichever you consider over here for t, that was 1.5. This value and over here will match. Please try all the other problems by yourselves. There's nothing much in this calculator method. If you're doing synthetic division, there's plenty of videos which I've already done on synthetic division. You can refer that. The method is pretty straightforward as well, as long as you know this particular thing. What happens is this comes down, goes up, right over here. I always remember that sign. So this, whatever you write over here goes down. Sorry, not goes down. Add them up, it goes down this over here same thing add them up goes down and it continues so that is how we do synthetic division any problem can be done if there is a um, coefficient more than one in the denominator then you need to divide throughout by the same term and remove the coefficient it can only be x then only can use synthetic division but this doesn't matter for the shortcut method you're over here if you're using the shortcut method don't worry just put it as it is and then check for all the four options. Only one answer will give you the correct answer. So now these both are the same answers. In your options, you'll have four options. So there will be unique options. So no matter what, they won't match. If they match, that means it's the same answer, correct answer itself. So it will not match. So you can easily use the shortcut method and get the answer. The only problem is you have to try it for all the four options. If you get the answer before in the first or second option, well and good. Otherwise, you need to try all the options and check which matches the answers. All these are same. You can refer over here. And that's the end of question five. If you can solve by synthetic division actual method, well and good. If you can't remember that, if you're getting confused, then please do think of the shortcut method. Please remember the steps in the shortcut method and then it is very easy to solve.